Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the international conference focusing on guidelines on developing course for remote learning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Prof. Sazila Salam, the Excellency Dr. Belilana MCOM MSc, the Excellency Dr. Eng Imam Tahyudin MM, and the Excellency Rujianto Eko Saputro MCOM and also all the participants I am Muhammad Shafal Amin in this good opportunity I would like to read some rules for the participants during following this conference well the topic of the conference today is guidelines on developing course for remote learning there will be two speakers in this conference the first speaker is the Honorable Prof Sazila Salim and Rujianto Eko Saputro Mkom. And this will be this this conference will be led by a moderator. He is Mr. Imam Tahyudin MM. Well ladies and gentlemen, let me read some rules before we start the conference. First, use your real name for your Zoom ID. Second, please turn off your mic on your Zoom. The third you can chat on Zoom or YouTube when you have questions. And the last, the most important thing is please enjoy this conference till the end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we start, uh, okay, I will call Mr. Imam to lead this conference and please enjoy. Okay. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam Alhamdulillah Alamin. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh, I am Imam Tahyudin It's my pleasure to be a moderator in this uh, international conference uh, with the topics about guidelines and developing course for remote learning uh, This international conference is one of the agendas for celebrating our 15th Universitas Amicum Procurator anniversary. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I continue, uh, the main agenda in this international conference I will give the times for the speech from our rector, Universitas Amikon Purwokerto, Dr. Berilana M. Kom, to uh, rector, please, times is yours. Uh, okay, uh, there is the preparations. Okay, let's we continue. Uh, the, our honorable speakers, Professor Sazila Salam uh, from Faculty of Information and Communication Technology, University Technical Malaysia, Malacca. And the second speaker uh, is Mr. Rujanto Eko Saputro. Uh, he is a uh, head of information technology department, Universitas Amikom Purwokerto. And of course, welcome all my beloved audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to introduce to you briefly our speakers. Uh, the first speaker is Professor Sazila Salam. Uh, she is currently a visiting professor at the Web Science Institute Department of Electronic and Computer Science in University of Southampton, UK, uh, working on uh, MOC, Massive Open Online Course Observatory. And also she is the founder of Perversive Computing and Educational Technology Research Group and then Center for Advanced Computing Technology, University Technical Malaysia, Malacca, UT Malaysia. And then also she was the director at the Center for International Resources and Technology, UT from 2013 to 2019. And then the second speaker is Rujianto Eko Saputro. Uh, he is a lecturer in Universitas Amikon Purwokerto, Indonesia. Currently, he is completing his doctoral program study at Faculty uh, Information and Technology, uh, UTM Malaysia. And then in this uh, session, he also is the founder of the GMOC, an LMS platform that uses a gamit uh, gamification approach. Okay. Uh, we, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, nowadays around the world are struggling to the COVID-19 impacts. One of them is education sectors. All of schools and university preventing the spreading fires by design online learning. Although a lot of universities have the infrastructure limitation, but they should design the model of education process run effectively. Maybe among of us are do not clearly understand the gap between online learning, 
distant learning, remote learning, and blended learning. Furthermore, sometimes we find the difficulties how to design online learning effectively. Well, those questions will be explained detailedly by one of our speaker, uh, she is Professor Sazila Salam. In addition, in this seminar, we also will study the innovation of online learning. Uh, it's namely GMOC, Gamification Massive Open Online, uh, open online Course. This framework is uh, one of solutions for addressing the problem of online learning which is boring due to lack of variations. And then this GMOC model using game approach. Therefore, students study like playing game, so happy. And the information, the advantages are it can stimulate the student motivation to be interactive, be competitive, and be collaborative. So we will study also directly from the founder. Uh, he is Mr. Rujanto Ecosopotro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this session is divided into two terms. The first is presentation session, and the second one is the question and answer term. The role of this webinar already explained by the MC. I just uh, repeat again that to all audience, please mute your microphone. If anyone wants to give question, you can directly raise your hand using a uh, menu on Zoom or write your question on chat rooms. Uh, well, before we directly give the time to our speakers, I give the times for the speech from a uh, rector of Universitas Amikon Purwokerto uh, to Dr. Berilana uh, M. M. Kong. Uh, please, time is yours. Baik, terima kasih. Thank you. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yang kami uh, yang kami hormati, yang berbahagia, Profesor Dr. Sasila Salam. Selamat siang. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Terima kasih sudah bergabung ke webinar kami. Ini sebuah kehormatan bagi Universitas Ami Komprokerto. And good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, all participants of the international webinar. Uh, webinar today is a part to implementation memorandum of understanding Amicom Purwokerto University and University Technical Malaysia Malaka sehingga hari ini kami berbahagia sekali Profesor Dr. Sasila Salam bersedia hadir bersedia bergabung membagi pengalaman membagi ilmu kepada kami semua di Universitas Amicom Semoga kita semua masih dalam kondisi sehat, dalam kondisi pandemi COVID-19 ini. Semoga Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala memberikan selalu kesehatan bagi kita semua. Amin. Dan kepada semua partisipan, mudah-mudahan kegiatan webinar internasional ini semua ilmu yang sudah diterapkan di Malaysia. Lalu uh, teknologi GIMOX yang, yang, yang diinisiasi juga oleh hmm. kandidat Dr. Rujianto Eko yang ini kebetulan juga supervisornya Prof. Sasila. Salam. Semoga mudah-mudahan tahun ini bisa PhD. Amin. Intinya <laughs> seperti itu. Uh, intinya saya mengucapkan banyak terima kasih. Semoga Allah Subhanahu wa taala membalas semua kebaikan Profesor Sasila Salam dan selalu dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Terima kasih. Lai topik wal hidayah. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the main session. The first session is speech by Professor Sazila Salam for presenting the topics about guidelines on developing courses for remote learning. Uh, the duration is around five, uh, 45 minutes until one hour. And after that, the second presentation by Mr. Rujianto Ekos uh, Saputro. Uh, he will deliver his speech about GMOX. The duration of presentation is around 20 minutes. So for the first speaker, I, uh, I give the time to Professor Sazila. Time is yours. Thank you. Uh, I will be sharing my uh, slide. Okay, thank you very much for the <coughs> for invite for inviting me to this uh, conference. Can you see my slide? Yes, bro. Okay, for the uh, to start our session, um, I would like to invite uh, the participant to. for the ice-breaking session. Okay, um, can you see the menti.com here? Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, please go to the uh, www.menti.com and you can key in the keyword. Sorry, the code, the code there, and then please uh please provide your answer. So there are only two questions. Just as a uh, I would like to know the participants, what are their roles. So, I will give... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Prof. Please yeah. uh, repeat again to www. Uh, this www.menti.com uh, The code is written at the screen. Uh, maybe you need to share again, bro, for the because we just see your uh, PowerPoint. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can you see it now? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, about uh, one minute to to do this. Can everyone share what is their role? Okay, we have. Uh, two participants. Can we have uh, more participants to join this? Okay, more. Okay, most of them are lecturers. 
some are from the faculty okay some of part time tutor Okay. Uh, Is there any students? Where's the question? Any students? No? So most of us are lecturers, right? Okay, so there are also millennial educator. Also staff. Okay. I think we we know in the audience now most of them are lecturers and some also from faculty uh, and staff part time tutor also okay uh one more question okay please uh This is the question, next question. What is your country? I just want to see if there is uh, other countries other than Indonesia. So shall we? Okay, most of them are Indonesia and some are from Malaysia. Okay, so we know now the participants, uh, a little bit about our, our participants. Okay, so just from Indonesia and Malaysia. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will stop now. So let's proceed with our title today. Okay, the title is Guidelines on Developing Courses for Remote Learning. Um, actually, I, I prepare quite a lot of uh, materials. Maybe uh, I am quite excited to do the sharing but I will try to um, minimize uh, so because I just uh, have uh, around one hour right anyway uh, the materials the, all the materials are shared on the telegram channel I think uh, the organizer has already shared to the participants, right? Yes. There are two uh, channels that I have created for this uh, conference. Okay, so let's begin with our uh, title, Guidelines on Developing Courses for Remote Learning. Sorry, I forgot to... Okay. So, this is the uh, agenda, which is, uh, I think, is still quite a lot. But I will uh, just touch on the, the main part, I mean, the, the brief part. And then I will uh, go to how to set up a course uh, by using Telegram. Okay. I will be using Telegram as a mini uh, LMS, as a mini uh, learning management system. Okay, first let's uh, look at the definition. Okay, um, I will try to uh, describe. Okay, actually there are four 
definitions that is um, related to non-traditional learning. Okay, there are four uh, definitions, all of them, online learning, distance learning, blended learning and also remote learning. Okay, as you can see from uh, this slide, online learning and blended learning is actually um, almost uh, having the same features. Okay. Uh, it is learning from home by using the internet, online learning and blended learning. Um, on the other hand, distance learning and remote learning is also learning from home using the internet, but is, it is supported by other technologies. Okay, so what is the difference between online learning and blended learning? The difference is that Online learning is fully online, uh, but blended learning combines both online and face-to-face -face class. Okay, for uh, distance learning and remote learning, they have quite the, the, the same features also because uh, it is learning from home using the internet and also support uh, by other technologies. Okay. And for blended learning and remote learning, both can have synchronous and also asynchronous uh, schedule class or uh, activity. So they are quite uh, similar in that sense. Okay, let's take a look at the detailed uh, features or characteristic of these four uh, definition. As you can see here, okay, online learning and blended learning, uh, most of the features are the same except face-to-face uh, -face class. Blended learning has face-to-face -face class and it has schedule online class or schedule activity. Okay. For distant learning and remote learning, most of the features are quite the same, quite similar, uh, except distance learning has normally has local support. They have a local support center so students can come there and do the uh, learning. Okay, and for remote learning, it has scheduled online class or scheduled activities. So this one can be, uh, normally remote learning is not, uh, it's not purposely to, to learn uh, from home. That's why it is called remote learning because due to the uh, COVID-19, they have to learn from home. Okay, so that's basically the difference. Okay, one other thing that you can uh, notice here, blended learning, I put it a uh, red color here, and also remote learning, also red color, they can have a uh, schedule online class or schedule activity. Okay. But uh, the red color means it can be done either synchronous, means the student and the uh, lecturer are meeting online at the same time. But uh, it can also be done asynchronous, in asynchronous mode, means student and uh, lecturer does not mean that does not meet online at the same time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, only the checklist. When we want to develop uh, any course, actually, we, we need teaching plan, we need learning design, and we need 
teaching materials. Okay, these are the, the essential steps for, for us to develop uh, any courses. Okay, first, um, we need to, we need to do a survey. We need to know whether our students have internet accessibility um, and what are the types of devices that they have. Okay. So the second step would be to revise our teaching plan. So for remote learning, it is uh, it is important for us to revise our teaching plan so that it match with our students' uh, internet accessibility and types of learning devices that they have at home. Um, the third uh, steps is to prepare a learning design. I will show you um, an example of a learning design or you can uh, check at the telegram channel. There are two telegram channels that I have prepared. The first one is uh, called remote learning. So that is the main materials. You can get um, all the materials from there. Okay, um, so the third, sorry, the fourth um, step is for us to select, to select um, our materials. Maybe we already have our teaching materials, but we need to uh, select uh, the appropriate one. If we don't, if we don't have if we don't have the uh, appropriate materials, then we may need to create, create uh, or record a lecture video. Create means maybe we just need to do uh, animated video, uh, animated slides, uh, or we, we may need to record our lecture video. And we also, uh, need to create e-activity or assessment that is appropriate to the uh, remote class. Okay, so once we have the learning design prepared and the, the teaching materials prepared, so we can uh, do the course set up. Okay, uh, I think I just uh, proceed with the, uh, because this, so I will stop sharing this. So let me share. The learning design. Can you see the, uh, I'm not sure which one, which one that you see just uh, right now? Powerpoint. Uh, oh, no, Powerpoint. Okay. 
Okay, word eh. Yes, okay. yes. <coughs> so this is the learning design script. Okay, what we have here, uh, I did this. If you can notice, there are uh, many hash hashtag. Yeah. Okay, there are hashtag in the in the learning design script here. So this is because mm. Telegram is using um, hashtag as a uh, as an anchor for any materials that we share. So you can see, okay, first I put a banner. So th this one is um, depends on you. Yeah. What you what do you want to put as the materials that will be presented to your uh, participant or your students. Okay. Then the second one I put here is the course learning outcome. Okay, maybe I just want to highlight what are the tools that are required for the subject. Okay, then I can start with the lessons, detail of the lessons. Okay. So I made, uh, I highlight also the lesson learning outcome and then I can uh, share the lecture video and also I, I can share the slides. All must be uh, marked with hashtag. Yeah. Okay, then uh, maybe the the quiz, the quiz for the lesson. So every time students have uh, learned by using the lecture video or by the slide, they can um, do the quiz so that they know where they are or whether they have learned. Okay, so next, um, other than lecture video, I also put here the lab session because uh, for my subject, which is uh, web game development, uh, students need to do hands-on. Okay, so this is the uh, lab one materials. And then once the, the students have completed, they have to submit. So I'll be using other uh, other tools. This one is by using uh, chat board. Eh, sorry, um, comments board. Comments board by Telegram. Okay. Then students also uh, are required to uh, to do a reflection. So I put here lab one reflection. And this one also, uh, I, cr I created the uh, reflection by using comments board. Um, as for the quiz, I did it using uh, quiz board. Okay. So all uh, uh, facilities facilities uh, in Telegram. Okay, then I can start with the second uh, lesson and so on. Okay. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the what we have. Um, when we set up this learning uh, design script using Telegram, so we can
we can see the result uh, on telegram Okay, this is my desktop telegram. Okay, so um, maybe I just uh, go through this one. Can you see the telegram? Yes, bro. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll uh, put it the uh, info screen. Okay. Just now the. The learning design script I have converted and uh, create the real uh, course by using the Telegram channel. So this is how it looks. You can see the first one is the banner and then uh, the course learning outcome. Okay. And then um these are the lesson lesson one lesson one the learning outcome for lesson one and then we can see this is the uh powerpoint slide for lesson one okay and then the quiz The quiz uh, and lab one, okay, and then students can submit the their uh, lab one submission by using comments board, and also their uh, reflection. Okay, so let's uh, try. To do the quiz, let's say student go here. Okay, so they can do the quiz. You can also try on the channel. So you know how uh, it looks like. Okay. Okay, actually I have uh, tried the quiz so many times, that's why it says uh, like that. So, okay, then I think I'm ready. So, the count, the countdown. Okay, now we can uh, answer the quiz.
Okay. So then for lecturer, they can check the statistic. So this is by using a quiz board. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, the course channel. So I'm here back to the course channel. So other than quiz, we can also uh, have the reflection just now. Okay, so student can Click on the comments. So, can you see this this screen? Yes, bro. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, this is comments board, right? Oh uh, no. 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 I oh, know. Okay. So I will share because it open up in. Um, in a brow in a browser oh, yeah. because I'm not using the phone. Hmm. Where is it? Uh, comment spot. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. So, student can uh, write the their reflection here. Okay, then they can just submit and uh, the, the benefits having uh, this comment board, comments board, we, yeah. our, um, so our uh, feedback, I mean, our feedback or maybe the students' reflections are all centered in one um, uh, one place. It is not uh, jumbled up with the other posts by uh, which is not uh, meant for the the learning purpose. Okay, so. There are many other uh, boards that uh, actually we can also create our own board uh, by using Telegram. Okay, uh, maybe let's see how I think we, uh, I have about 10 minutes only so maybe I will just uh, show uh, examples how to do this okay one telegram so actually we can also do uh, buttons buttons here 
But since this one is not uh, so long, when when we have a 14 weeks um, lessons, that will, that will be too long. So we can create buttons. Okay, uh, let's say I want to uh, add more lesson. So I just put here um, lesson. Lesson 2. Okay, lesson two. Um, which is a just example. Okay, if if it is a, a file, we can just. Open the file. Okay, and then we put the hashtag in the caption. Okay, then um, maybe you want to put the uh, lab lab 2 And it is also a file. For example. Then, oh, yes, yes. Okay, then we put also the hashtag there. Um, I have uh, put all the materials for creating the uh, channel, creating the comments or feedback, uh, feedback channel, and also how to create the quiz. Okay, I hope that uh, that is useful for everyone. Okay, this is how the comments board looks like. Okay, there are comments from uh, our participants, I think, here. Yeah. So, as a lecturer, when they click, it will go to the uh, to the comments board channel. But uh, when we click, I click here just now on the on the telegram. But it goes to since it is a telegram desktop, 
it goes to the browser. So maybe I I should control it from here from my phone. Okay, so I'll just uh, give a reply to Arif Muammar. This is as a lecturer. Right, it should update, but uh, since it is using the desktop, the Telegram desktop, uh, I need to open it. Let me share. Okay. okay, can you see the, the reply here? No, still cannot. Uh, but for, for Telegram uh, desktop, we need to open up in browser. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't have much time left. Uh, what should I... So maybe I just show you the quiz. Huh? The quiz. This is by using quiz board. So we can uh, create. We can create a new quiz by using slash, and then you select new quiz like this. And then it will ask you what are the uh, title for your quiz. So maybe okay. Then uh, we can give a description for the quiz. Yeah, let's see the, this is our description. Okay, then you be we can create a question by clicking the uh, button here. Okay, if we uh, if we want to add a photo, we can we can add a photo before creating the question. So let's say um, this is a question. And then we 
prepare the answer. Okay, so let's say that is the, so we need to choose the correct answer. Okay, and then we can proceed with the rest of the questions. So when we are, we have key in all of them, so we just put slash done. Okay, then the we can choose for the timing time limit for for the participant to answer let's say we choose uh, 10 seconds and then we can choose whether we want to shuffle the questions okay so these are the link the link that uh we can we can use to share in our channel okay then the quiz stats here is for checking the um, how the participant have done okay i think uh, is it my time limit if there is the material want to explain again, maybe there is a time 15 minutes again. Oh, I have anti 9.15. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's, let's try this quiz and then we can check the quiz statistic. But I just put one question just now. So, uh, there's a button I am ready you can click so the countdown start okay so now we can answer the quiz It takes time, okay, so that's correct. So to see the stat, uh, result, since there is only one question, so this is the result. And, okay. So we can share, <coughs> we can share the quiz just now, the link, or we can just use the button here. Then, uh, let's say I choose the channel, the ITE 2523, so I'll share it here. Okay. So it is quite easy. So maybe uh, I'll share how to create the channel. Uh, how to create the channel is actually by clicking this uh, icon up on the top right. Top right of the telegram. We can see an icon, so click that one and then uh, choose the new channel. Okay, then we can uh, give a name to the channel. Maybe just put a name.
and the description. Okay, next. And we can set the channel as a public or private. If we set it as a public, we, uh, it can be searched by others and it can be joined by others. Then we need to give a folder name for the channel. So let's try. JavaScript is already taken. A workshop. Okay, limit. Okay, so JavaScript workshop and then done. So, this is the channel. So, we can um, add um an image to to the channel and so on just just like the normal um normal telegram okay so i uh, what else okay. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, okay. This is the uh, the channel that I've created for for this uh, conference. So there are uh, banner banner for the for the webinar and also there is a, a learning outcome webinar learning outcomes and a slide okay then this is a the example of a teaching plan so you can see how the teaching plan. This is uh, based on our uh, standard in Malaysia. Uh, I mean, in UTEM, in our university. Uh, I think the teaching plan is different. Maybe different from uh, the one that you have in your institution. But there are also uh, similarity, I think. Okay, so the next one I uh, I have provided here is the learning design script. Okay, this is just an, an example. Uh, it is easy for us uh, to set up the course if we already have uh, the learning design script. Because uh, in Telegram, if we uh, miss something, it will be at the bottom and we cannot insert. Okay, so it is better for us to prepare the learning design script first. Okay, so next one is, um, this is a notes or tutorial on how to create a channel. Okay. Um, also, how to create a quiz. I have uh, provided the, the, the tutorial also. And if you... This one is uh, the feedback. Uh, please give, give me some feedback if you have. If you would like to ask anything also, you can uh, go to this uh, feedback. Okay, just, just add a comment so I can reply 
on the feedback channel. And I have also prepared a quiz for this uh, webinar. There's only three questions there. Okay. So, please answer. Answer the quiz. And... Okay, I think that's all. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor Sazila. And then for the uh, next speaker, uh, to Mr. Ecorigianto, uh, please, you delivering the presentation. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Imam Tahyudin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Firstly, I would like to thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because today or uh, right now we can meet at this conference mm. I'll talk in a pandemic situation but it's still excellent health condition inshallah secondly uh, to my uh, rector uh, prof uh, Dr. Belilana as the rector of Amikom Purwokerto University and uh, Mr. Imam Tahyuddin, PhD, as the Dean of Computer Science at Amikom University, Amikom Purwokerto University, and of course to my supervisor, Prof. Sazila Salam. Thank, thank you for your time. Uh, can join this uh, conference. Uh, my topic is about gamification in online learning. Uh, can you share the share this slide, please? Okay, next. Uh, next. Slide. That is the slide. Okay. From the first slide. Okay, next. Uh, this, uh, uh, this presentation will divide into six sections. One is we will talk about what is gamification, and secondly, uh, wh why gamification. The third is gamification in education, game element gamification framework for online learning and I will to in I will introduce to you about the GMOOC platform next uh, now we talk about what what is gamification uh, the term gamification explicitly introduced by Brett 2008 he said gamification uses game mechanic that apply to a web property to increase user engagement. This understanding based on the great opportunities for development of social game on the website. Uh, second uh, definition from Wu 2012, defined that gamification as utilizing the attribute in the game to drive user behavior as well as in non-game non context. It means that gamification is used game design or game element on non-game context non-game context so not in game environment okay next for the example we can uh, find we can found a lot of uh, sample of gamification in a platform not only in uh, online learning platform but we can found in other platform such as uh, Indonesia, we know about a Gojek. We also know about Grab, but Nucek 
I think <laughs> not use gamification yet. And Shopee for the e-commerce in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in Singapore, and etc. Uh, this platform using a lot of uh, element from game such as a uh, pages, point, uh, progress bar, and etc. And in online uh, learning platform, one of the application that I think that is very interesting to apa ya, to to uh, very interesting to uh, follow. follow uh, okay, is a Duolingo. This uh, language learning platform. Next, next. Ah, this is. This Duolingo is a language learning platform that using a lot of uh, element of game that we can found that, that we can find in this platform such as a pages and etc. Okay, next. Why gamification? Now we talk about uh, the purpose of gamification. Gamification is one approach that capable of providing a different experience to the user when they interact with the application. By using the gamification approach, the elements contained in the contained in the game will be adopted and used in non-game context. Gamification provides a positive effect, although the result is very dependent on the context in which gamification implement and how the use the user use it. In education, gamification is usually used to improve student sense of engagement in learning, learning motivation, and also increase learning process and outcome. Uh, next, a lot of element that usually used in many platform that I can collect from uh, research from the paper. Uh, for the example, onboarding, tutorial, quest mission, time pressure, time limit, point, virtual currency, coin, score, pages, and etc. A lot of uh, game elem element that we can find in uh, uh, apa, in, in platform. Okay. Uh, next. So, I will, in I will to introduce to you about, I will introduce you about the uh sorry Concept. slide framework about the framework of wait about the key dimension that form the framework of gamification that i propose uh sorry The we can see in the slide uh, sorry wait uh, for a minute. This conceptual framework is formed from three key dimension. First for the first one is the from a game element itself. Uh, and then from interactive learning environment in the left side and social learning theory on the right side this uh, the three key dimension e is uh, the th the three key dimension is using to support a uh, intrinsic motivation uh, to support a game gamification framework uh, in this case we can see one by one for the next slide for the example on observational learning social observational learning and social learning support Obses observational learning for this test is which the student autonomously determine the decision to take the course or not Materials and method for delivering the content must clear and have meaningful purpose purposes, so that student can draw from the first imp impression or attention. 
The next is retention and context. The stage when student needs to recall the material follow through a personal or non or on a global discussion. The third one is state of mind. The stage when student tests the ability and measures the level of mastery of the materials follow. And the last is motivation and reward. The stage in which a motivational impulse need needed both internally and externally so that students are will willing to take a complete courses complete course so uh, we, next slide so I propose a uh, one of framework for uh, online learning gamified gamific uh, for uh, gamifying uh, online learning that we can call that uh, we can call mark gamification framework this framework is uh, supported by game element that we can see in the uh, bottom. Uh, there are narrative storytelling, virtual map, hero's journey, altruism, positive feedback. It's for the observ observ observational learning, for such as we can use on learning videos and introduction for the course and next is on forum discussion or collaboration we can use uh, elements such as uh, competition teammate self-expression altruism and etc on the tax on quiz this is uh, on state of mind we use a uh, emotional creation leveling and skill tree and on boss battle freedom to fail freedom to choose and etc to support uh, motivation and reward, we can give uh, emotional creation to transaction, performance graph, social status, and positive feedback. How to implement this framework, we can see on the next slide. Uh, this is a step of the gamification approach in every principle of social, uh, uh, in every learning environment. I mean, like that. Uh, learning instruction we need to provide learning through meaningful instruction. For the example, using a story or narrative models like the hero's journey, and then use multiple paths on the virtual map to give students freedom to choose which model will be complete first, and etc. In the retention and context for forum discussion, collaboration, we can use uh, we can provide positive feedback for each action in the discussion forum, such as giving a point, such as a, uh, such as a ex ex extra point. Use learner's performance to improve their social status. We can use uh, avatar, etc. Oh. And provide an opportunity to for students to learn from failure when following the quiz or the final exam and for supporting the motivation we can use uh, we can uh, i can give your example for with learner emotional info involvement through the challenge provide in each quest through uh, sorry through each this uh, through each pet so they can gain meaningful experience in learning and etc now I will try to introduce you with a uh, GMO platform one of platform that we are using uh, we are trying to use this framework uh, next slide this, the name of this platform is GMO platform uh, at or we can say gamified massive open online course or we can set a hero trial too uh, on GMO platform, uh, we use a lot of uh, name that maybe this is uh, not the uh, we we use a name like on the uh, uh, movies or like on the uh, story such as a uh, hero trial quest and etc. It's like like on the game. Uh, next slide. This is a uh, hero trial, or hero trial is another name for the course. In hero trial, there are 
a quest and pet next slide uh, quest is inside the hero's trial there are quest meeting and pet sub meeting or quest is a sub module eh, eh sorry quest is a module and pet is sub module the quest followed gradually if the quest has not complete yet then the next quest will remain locked next is pet in the hero's trial there can be more than one quest and in one quest there can be more than one pet so this is depend on the instructor in this platform there are two user instructor and learner so uh, instructor can create a hero trial can create quest and create pet and the student follow the hero trial also the quest and pet the pet are operating out below stage before completing the previous pet the next pet is locked the pet also required healthy health point or we can see HP if the HP values does not meet the requirement so pet will remain locked and we are using a virtual map like on the picture we can show that uh, the, the instructor will create create their uh, quest and create their pet on that virtual map in hero style we know we also have a content and reward also, of course because this is a learning management platform so it's maybe same with another uh, platform the content first is a video material this pet contains course material uh, co this course material content consisting of video and text-based learning forum quizzes and post battle every learners complete video learning the learners will then learner will get best experience point or we can say PA, PEP. The amount of PEP received is based on the amount of PEP given by the instructor. PEP function to rank leaderboards and upgrade level from learner. Next content is forum. The forum is room for discussion between instructor and learners. In the forum, uh, learners and instructor can give a like or we can say it in this uh, platform is extol every likes given from instructor or learner will convert to excel point and the excel point value of each like given by the learner is what one ep when ap while the instructor is 10 ep the collected ep can exchange with platinum platinum armor next is quiz Quizzes can be given to each quest by instructor. In the quiz, there is reward. There are reward that can be obtained by learner if they complete it. There are two type of quizzes, namely multiple choice and true and false. Reward obtained are PAP or best experience point, HP health point, and SP. Post battle, it's same with a uh, final exam. The instructor can provide BB at every quest. In BB, there is a reward that can be obtained by the learner if they complete it. There are two types of BB, nam namely multiple choice and true and false. Same with uh, quiz. What distinguishes between quizzes and BBs is reward that get more including php hp hp and gp or we can say gold point so in quiz there are no gp or gold point but in boss battle there is a gp in a gmook the fulfillment of competencies the fulfillment of autonomy the fulfillment of relatedness also uh, provide by the game element uh, for the example next the fulfillment of meaningful learning or uh, an autonomy is provided by the uh, avatar that student can choose when they start the first time to start or following or joining a hero trial they must just uh, they must choose 
one uh, avatar and then on the virtual map they also can uh, getting a point and change with armor change with skill so they they can uh, upgrade their avatar next to fulfillment of relatedness relatedness sorry to fulfillment the relatedness there are reward given from the activity of each learner through extol point obtained from each like provided by the instructor or other learners in a discussion this extol that learner can collect can that learner can collect and exchange with special armor to upgrade their avatar and to fulfillment the to fulfillment the competencies there are a lot of a point that we we can use but not only not just they can get the the point but they can change the point to another goods like uh, armor and and skill and etc so uh, as, uh the other element that used to fulfillment the competencies we all we also use a uh, quiz result next quiz result next this uh, the uh, quiz result looks on Gmo platform and then learner progress so this learner can follow their progress in next slide next slide uh, sudden can know how many percentage of their quest on week one week two and etc so uh, if you want to know about the Gmo uh, platform you can see the link on the next slide and i think it's enough for my uh, presentation thank you very much Mr. Rima. okay well thank you so much for uh, your presentation uh, i think from two of our speakers now there are many insights knowledge and uh, maybe from uh, our participants wants to ask give questions because now is the question and answer session uh, if anyone want to uh, give question you can raise your hand or please write on the zoom group chat okay is there any question Okay. Okay. From the first speaker, Professor Sazila, uh, she uh, has explained about the remote learnings. Maybe among of us still, what is it? Not familiar. Not, not familiar. familiar yes, with this uh, remote learning. And then I think it's uh, so interesting, like uh, what uh, she presented using the telegram okay is there any question okay maybe it is for the stimulus questions uh, like prof uh, sazila explains before that the remote learning one of the what is it? Uh, differentiation is the remote learning. Uh, it's used the other tools, and then the remote learning. Uh, what is it? Uh, the differentiation is by using schedule class meeting or time of activity. Maybe uh, I would like to know more how the appropriate parameters when it's better we using remote learning i mean like the theory class or the workshop class or what the what is it uh, the the appropriate uh, parameters and then the second one 
how to know the summarize uh, from the participants or audience in that class meeting for example like there is the quiz and then we uh, the the educator or the teacher or lecturer want to know uh, how the results or or how the summarize of the result of quiz maybe uh, there is two questions uh, maybe please to prof Zazila. okay thank you uh, uh, so for the the first questions is about um, remote learning right yes um and what are the sorry, uh just know the uh, what are the question about remote learning yes maybe what's the appropriate parameters i mean uh it is suitable like in uh, for uh delivering theory class uh, i mean not uh in a practical course or a workshop which one is stable when uh, I will use the remote learning? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we we can um, it can be for remote learning. It, it, it is actually we uh, don't have uh, much choice. Uh, but for blended learning, uh, we can have the choice whether to to do it uh, face to face or not right yes so for remote learning uh, this is ha uh, happen when uh, there is something uh, happens like emergency uh, disaster or maybe uh, like the this uh, COVID nineteen, so that's that's why the remote learning come. I mean, uh, that's where the remote learning is required. So the 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 course initially was not um, prepared for online learning or study from home. Initially, it is not prepared to for the students to study from home, but uh, we need to do the uh, modification so that the course is suitable for remote uh, learning. Uh, so to answer the questions, actually, uh, the the best. Uh, the best way to handle the cost is for us to modify. For example, if it is a workshop or maybe a hands-on that we can do online, so we modify the materials so that student can do it online. But uh, the problem is that if our students uh, also uh, don't have the accessibility. I mean, maybe they they are not in the high accessibility group. Uh, so there might be uh, uh, some modifications that we need to do to the uh, materials for those group, like the. Uh, for the medium accessibility, it is still uh, fine, but for the the one that have no internet and no device, that one is uh, need to be uh, handled by other medium, uh, such as maybe by using post. We prepare it uh, and then post to them. Or maybe if they are not so many, like just one or two 
uh, student of our class, maybe we can uh, get them to go to somewhere like the distance learning do, like a center, a center for them to go. Or maybe if the worst case, uh, we we need to provide them option whether they want to do it uh, uh, the course or they want to defer the course. Okay, the other questions just now is... Uh, sorry again, the question? Uh, how to know the summarize of the results? Like uh, Professor Zila uh, explained before, uh, there are some uh, uh, quiz, right? And okay. then, yes, every participant uh, answer the quiz and then how to know uh, the lecture, the summarize of the result. Okay, um, just now I, I did show maybe uh, it is not uh, noticeable. There is a button called uh, quiz stats, quiz statistic. Oh, I see. Uh, but uh, there is a quiz statistic. If the students who have answered the questions, there will be uh, their marks in the quiz statistics. So we know who have done the quiz and who have not. But um, the limitation is that only the first uh, attempt is recorded in the marks. The marks is recorded only for the first attempt. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe okay. there are some other question. Uh, okay. I will uh, read the questions. The questions from uh, Mr. Amang Roshidi. Uh, the question is: What is the difference between online learning and blended learning? I think it's just the same. Uh, yes, uh, that's the question. Okay, so that's to me, right? <laughs> okay, for for online learning, it uh, it is actually uh, fully online. Like yeah, if you are familiar with um, MOOC, Massive Open Online Course, like the uh, the MOOC provided by Coursera. Uh, Udemy, so they provide online learning. So even you can uh, attend a degree course uh, fully online now. It is uh, available. So that is called online learning. Mm -hmm. There is no face-to-face -face, uh, happen for the online learning course. But for blended learning, uh, we can combine, we can combine both online learning and also face-to-face -face class. Okay. Um, this is quite common also before this, uh, before the, the pandemic, we, we have seen also blended learning happens. Okay. Am I answer the question? Yes, I think it's enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. The other questions? Okay. Uh, please. To give questions, there is no name. How can remote learning be applied in the world of education, especially kindergarten? in elementary school. Yes, maybe uh, Prof. Sazila. Yes, so how yes. How yeah. to apply uh, kindergarten? Yeah. Yes. In kindergarten yeah. or yes. elementary school. Bro. Okay. So, uh, nowadays, there's quite a lot of um, tools, uh, resources, okay? even for kindergarten, 
uh, or primary school. So we can uh, get all the uh, materials and send it. Uh, if if the so that's why we need to to find out whether the students uh, uh, what are the uh, the internet accessibility and the learning device that they have if they are um, in the high accessibility group then we can conduct uh, the the class or maybe the, the asynchronous class uh, via online but um, maybe I can share uh, the how they they approach the school the school the primary schools here in Southampton how did they uh, approach the remote learning they actually uh, they send the materials by post every week mm. uh, so but uh, here it they they the school uh, is fortunate because the the area is not uh, far away like us okay for, for the school if uh, the school is just scattered for the students around that area so it is not very mm -hmm. far from the school for them to send the uh, materials okay. by post uh, so maybe I think for the for kindergarten also uh, normally we send our children just nearby right so we can also apply the same uh, approach to kindergarten just by using uh post okay or deliver deliver it to their house okay then i did i answer uh, the questions maybe uh maybe the question is uh it is what is it applicable the remote learnings is implement, implemented in uh kindergarten or elementary schools because uh like the explanation uh, remote learning is using the tools so if uh, what mm. you explains like in certain by using uh, what is it uh, post the materials post yes uh, I think yeah. it is that, that uh, can we call it still remote learning or it, I think that is the manual right uh, it is it is a remote learning oh, because uh, 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 if you look at the definition uh, it is a study from home by using internet hmm. and also there are also the the option is by using other technology other technology including printed books oh i see <laughs> And uh, we can send any other uh, any other kind of technology, right? Uh, by maybe by using television, by using uh, radio. Also, it can be considered under remote learning. Yeah. Okay, I see. It. Thank you so much, Prof. Okay. There is the other question. One more question. Okay. Uh questions from uh, Jefferson Siahan. Uh, how to combine remote learning with LMS to be more easily understood by school children? Okay. How to combine? Uh, combine LMS. Yes, remote learning with LMS. Remote learning with LMS. Okay. Um, LMS can be uh, can be still can still be used 
by uh, if we if our students are uh, in the high available uh, high accessibility group uh, and also media accessibility group so that uh, LMS is still possible okay uh, but just in case of the lower accessibility and the no access accessible uh, no internet group that we uh, it is difficult for us to implement but the, the one that i uh, proposed by using telegram it is suitable for the medium accessibility and can also be used by the high uh, accessibility group okay so if we don't want to uh, uh, what if uh, it is better if we have both the by using the normal lms and also by having the uh, mini lms in the the telegram but to ease our job maybe we we should stick to only one yeah. one platform yeah okay okay <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much uh maybe there is anyone who wants to give question to mr echo mm. okay <laughs> <laughs> okay Yes. Okay. Uh, this special question. The last question. Okay. <laughs> How can your GMOC can be a part of remote learning? GMOC can be a part of remote learning. Of course, GMOC one of the tools for we can that we can use on the remote learning it's maybe the uh, professor Sila explain about the explanation uh, definition of the remote learning one of the lms uh, there are uh, lms and a mini lms mini lms such as uh, online learning with a telegram and learning management system maybe can based on a website or uh, mobile uh, mobile application so i think uh gmoc as the platform or uh, lms platform is one of tool that we can use uh to create a course or create uh, or uh, to create a course for student uh, but this is using a website i think like that okay maybe for uh <coughs> What is it? Uh, the the tile explanation about Gmox. Uh, all of the all audience can visit the website. website. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I think the times is uh, enough. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, finally, we approach the uh, last session, and then. Uh, I am as the moderator. Uh, maybe I w I just would like to say thank you so much for our panel speakers, uh, to Professor Sazila and uh, Mr. Rudianto Eko Saputro. Uh, there are many insights, knowledge about the remote learnings and then the implementations. Uh, one of tools of remote learning it is the GMOX. And then uh, we hope uh, enjoy the program and obtain many insight and knowledge and maybe see you on next agenda. And then for the last uh, session, I think it is the photo sessions. Uh, please, all of the audience, open uh, your uh, video because we will take the picture as the documentation. Okay. Please open the first slide. Okay, please open the video.
okay not yet there are many Okay. <laughs> Ina? Okay. Next slide. I have no webcam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next slide. Please open the video. Okay. The next slide. The next slide. Finish. Finish. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, thank you for the times and then uh, the time uh, I give to the MC. Uh, thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you very much for all the participants for joining the conference today. Well, I'm going to announce about the certificate. Some of you have got the certificate already, but for you who don't get it yet, please uh, just fill the attendance list in the link we gave to you in the Zoom chat or in the description link in the YouTube on YouTube. Okay. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Stay healthy. Stay happy and see you in the next conference. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Ya Allah. <laughs>